Okay, I uh, just uh, completed this box here not long ago. Um, there is a video of a little bit about that. I'll put a, a link down here somewhere um, that if you want to go and watch a little bit about how I made it. But this one here is just to kind of show you what I have inside of it and the space that it has. Um, it's approximately 5 by 35 as far as the interior section of it. So let's just take a look of what's in it. So I have a hacksaw in here, something, you know, typical thing you'd find uh, in a toolbox. This is mostly a carpenter's toolbox, um, nothing uh, um, that I would use too much myself because everything I do is right here in the shop. Uh, coping saw, um, a fixed, small fixed square, a scraper an adjustable square, so I'm doing angles and stuff like that. This is certainly something typically you'd find in here. A um, slide square for the 45, certainly something you would find in a toolbox. Uh, let's see what else we have in here. We have a chisel set for doing some, uh, you know, if you had to do some fine detail work to chisel some stuff down, um, make things fit. Certainly something would be in here. A draw plane. So that's what if you're doing any, any of that type of work. That's in there as well. Um, let's see. I'm gonna small, this is an interesting hand. I've used this a lot. It's actually with my dad's. Probably still is his. I just never returned it. So he, he'll watch this video and probably want it back, but that's okay. Um, maybe he gave it to me. That's my story. But um, I used, when I was a kid, I used to use this a lot because the big hammers were, were uh, you know, too heavy. But um, it's got a, a neat little angle in here. It's great for getting underneath stuff and kind of prying up but not having a great big crowbar and stuff. And you can do little tacks and things like that as well. But it's got a little pry bar. You can pull nails. So that's kind of handy. I've had that for a long time. And, of course, you know, regular hammer. Um, let's see what else. Get a, I got a uh, bigger chisel that I use actually quite a bit right here in the shop. Uh, a lot for different things. I don't have it in with the regular chisel set because those ones there are really sharp and I try to keep them protected. This one here I kind of used a lot of banging around stuff, glue, whatever. Uh, of course, got to have a level. So there's a, a level in there, kind of fits right in there nicely. Uh, what else? A uh, screwdriver. And this is, uh, you know, uh, all in one kind of a screwdriver. So, and that's in one of the holes I drilled here in the back side. Maybe if I get a couple of these other things out of the way, you can see it. I got this clamp for the side. This is a little vise. Yeah, it's not really clamped tight right now. Just uh, enough to hold it in place. But if you're on the job somewhere and you need to hold something, you can clamp this down to a table. Put your work in here. Um, this one's I still got to uh, add pieces to wood to this. How this works is you would really have wood inside here as your plates. And there's holes to screw that in so you're not hurting um, any finished wood that you got clamped in there. So... I got to do that, but that certainly um, is something handy. It's portable, easy, clamp right down to any work surface that this would fit on. So that's in there. Um, a small tape measure, as well as a larger tape measure. I really don't need both, but kind of just showing the space that this thing has as well. Those are both in there. Glue bottle, if you had to do some gluing. Um, and then, of course, a regular saw, which again, if you saw my earlier video on this, it's it's rest right in there. It's got its own little compartment for the most part. Kind of keeps it protected. I'm going to put that, uh, I just don't want to bang the teeth up, so I'll just lay that over here. And here's the screwdriver I was talking about. It's in a hole over here. i got a couple of the holes. We certainly can add a couple things. Watch out for knots, though, so I probably won't drill one near that. But you can certainly add some over here. Um, one of the things I was going to do on one of these ends, far away from the middle, where you carry it from, is put a series of holes and put some drill bits in, and then possibly add um, a hand drill to it, because this would easily fit in here. There's plenty of room to fit this in as well. Uh, but that's currently not in there. Um, so that's the screwdriver that's in there. And then, of course, I have a rasp. This is a big, heavy rasp. Um, it's got a finer, two different finer sides, and then um, two different a coarse, a coarse side to it. So that's uh, that's what's in there. 
Oh, and of course, there's a few holes here for pencils. You can never have too many pencils. You've seen that probably in my sh other videos, my shop. I got pencils everywhere. I have several pencil holders that I've made, and they're all over the place. But anyway, uh, that's it. You know, I hope you like it. it. Certainly holds quite a few tools, and there really was more space, and there's more things you can do with this on the ends here. Um, I was even talking about. I've seen some videos that people have done with some. Uh, some of the rare earth magnets for doing like um, different bits and stuff that would stick to them. Uh, but um, so that kind of give you an idea. So like I said, very simple, nothing fancy about it. I didn't follow any um, particular patterns. I just kind of put it together based on what I had. But hopefully you liked it. Please like if you like. Of course, comment if you have any questions. Subscribe to my channel. And thanks for stopping by Shane's Main Shop. Have a great day.